We get a lot of questions about how to make the pattern player work in Riala Banjo. It's one of those things that's really easy once you know how, but for that first time, sometimes a little help doesn't hurt. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure Contact's virtual keyboard is enabled. Just click this Keyb button right here. It turns the keyboard display on and off. This will give us a visual display to make sure we're in the right place. Once you get the hang of it, you can have it on or off, it won't matter. So anyway, you can see that we have yellow keys, which are for the fret positions. Then we have these red keys, which are for the pattern key switches. Then we have the blue keys, which is where the regular notes are. Notice how you can see the notes I'm playing in this section. Then we have two octaves of green keys. Here's where the magic happens. To make the pattern player work, you need to play chords on those green keys. When we get an email from somebody saying that the pattern player doesn't work, nine times out of 10, it's because they're not playing the green keys. They'll be playing the blue keys and then wondering why they don't hear patterns. That's why in this video, we turned on the keyboard display so you can see for sure which keys we're playing. Now, sometimes people have a keyboard that's only four octaves or maybe even only two octaves. If that describes you, then how do you play these green keys that are higher than what your keyboard has? Well, that's what those octave buttons are for on your keyboard. They shift the octaves to make it so your keyboard can play higher or lower octaves. Any modern keyboard has them. They're usually on the left side of your keyboard and say octave, or maybe just an abbreviation, O-C-T, and there will be a plus sign button to raise an octave and a minus sign button to lower the octave. Look around and you'll find these buttons. You may have to press the raise octave button two or three times depending on how small your keyboard is. Okay, are you playing in the green section now? Great. Play a chord and you'll hear the pattern player. Make sure you're playing a real chord though. Remember when I said nine out of 10 times the problem is people aren't playing the green keys? Well, the other one out of 10 times is because people aren't playing what most people would consider chords. You have to play major, minor, dominant seven, minor seven, or suspended chords. Any inversion is fine as long as they're one of those chord types and as long as they're in the green keys. For example, a G major chord has a G, a B, and a D. Well, that was easy. Check out our next video about how the timings of the pattern player work. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to this YouTube channel? Because these helpful videos just keep becoming. And then do yourself a favor and head on over to Realitone.com and see what other cool stuff we've been cooking up. And of course, there's our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Realitone, where we post all our news and updates so you can be the cool kid on the block who knows all the Realitone news before everybody else does. Thanks for watching.